How's it going, everybody? Just out here riding around this morning, taking care of some business. But I wanted to talk to you all about something. I guess you can say a part of prepping that many people don't talk about. Stay tuned. Okay, everybody, welcome back. First of all, before we get started, please give this channel a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. Definitely appreciate it. Helps me grow the channel, bring you more content. So I'm already thanking you in advance. Now, the one part that most people don't think about when it comes to prepping or preparedness is the spiritual, mental, or psychological preparation and what I mean by that is are you ready to deal with certain things that you may see or you may face during an SHTF scenario let's just say you and your family are bug bugging in and someone comes to your door did say family, man, woman, children, and they look like they haven't eaten. You know, maybe they haven't eaten, or maybe they just look dirty or disheveled, whatever. Weak, or uh, what do they say, uh, malnutrition. And they're coming to you and say, hey, I, you know, we need food, we haven't eaten. Now, your first response may be, Hey, okay, yeah, we maybe we can help them out. Maybe. But at the same time, you notice there's something that's not quite right about them. You know, maybe they're a little sketchy. Or while you're having a conversation with them, you realize maybe their part of their story is just not quite adding up. Question. Do you have the heart to turn those people away with kids? Not because you just, not because you're just that type of person, but because something's very sketchy about them. Something's not quite right, and they could possibly be lying to you. Do you have the heart to turn them away? That's a good question. Many people think that they would, but some people naturally are just givers, carers, uh, nurturers. You know, those type of people may naturally, you know, want to try to help. Or maybe you're out, you're out and about and you're trying to bug out and you run across someone that's maybe being physically harmed. But you know you have to get to your bug out location. Time is of the essence, right? Do you have the heart to just pass them by? so you can get yourself and your family to your bug out location in safety? Or will you stop the help potentially putting you and your family in danger? I mean, these are things you may have to face that no one, no one's really talking about. Also, what if you have friends and family members that don't believe in bugging out? You and your family, your household are on your way to your bug out location. And they're like, no, we're staying here. You guys are crazy. We're not bugging out. We're going to stay right here and ride this thing out. Just like some people do during hurricane season. Are you willing to just say, okay, well, you know, whatever. See you when I see you. Are you willing to do that? Remember, we're talking about friends and family members here people you communicate with and associate with all day every day for the most part and they want to stay when SHTF when they know they should be bugging out are you willing to leave them see these are things that may happen anyways that's just what's on my mind this morning if you have any comments please leave them once again, once again, please uh, 
give this video a thumbs up please subscribe to the channel and as always before i let you go get ready stay ready god bless